Hey guys, I'm Vincent, and uh, I received this gift from my friend. It's a Lomo Graph camera, some twin lens reflex camera that he gave me. So um, right now I'm just going to assemble the camera, and probably I'll do a time lapse video of that happening. I actually got the instruction manual out, and the assembly time is estimated to be one hour. So. Uh, I used to be a design and tech student, so I, I hope that I can do it in less than an hour. And probably I will take some photos of it using 35mm film and show you guys some examples after I'm done shooting with this camera. Enjoy! Morgan, I I slept early last night, like three a.m. Uh, but I managed to get the shutter fixed on the the camera mechanism thing, so you can see like the shutter actually uh, opens. I don't know whether it's too fast for the iPhone to see, but yeah, it kind of opens. So it's it's a one smooth motion kind of thing. So the time lapse continues today um, I still have a whole box of things to fix so hopefully I get it done soon So hey guys, um, I kind of completed the twin reflex camera. It was kind of tough. The lens was kind of being unfriendly and very difficult to put in. So like my fingers were left with all the, the marks and things. But what's interesting is this. Like I found out that this mirror, uh, it's kind of a mirror effect. It has kind of a mirror effect on things that you point at. And so far, um, I'm pretty excited to shoot with this camera. I have um, expired film, like, which was supposed to be developed in 2002, but uh, I, I still have it. I hope I can load some film in, and probably I hope I can show you guys how how to put film in this camera. Yeah. So, thanks. Hey guys, I got my film developed. It took about three days. And I developed the film in a nearby stall, uh, Amokyo Color Center Private Limited, which is located at the HDB Hub. Basically, I paid four dollars for developing the film and uh, thirty cents for each exposure that they develop. What I have is I don't know whether you can see. Uh, this spot in the middle, uh, all the exposures are gone. Uh, I only had the first half and the the second half, like the second half of the, the photos, all those in the middle were gone so they didn't charge me for that which is a good thing and they gave me a free photo album to slot all my photos in so all these are the photos that I got and what I did was I actually scanned the photos and right now I'll just uh, show it to you so this is uh, one of the this is the first thing that they, they, they gave to me to show you like what are the, the available exposures that they uh, managed to develop because the, the rest as you can see those whiteouts they, they didn't develop it so they didn't charge me that and moving on uh, basically these these are the shots that I scanned in and I mean if you notice like some of the photos right you can actually see 
uh, this little red kind of linings that are going on like somewhere in the center of the the frame uh, I'm not sure whether it's due to expired film because I was using expired uh, expired Fuji film 400 ISO or something like that so mm, it might be the cause I'm not too sure it might be the developer the developers fault uh, but I mean it's a toy camera so any kind of results is is fine by me and Lampos. Another thing with this camera, I find I found out that like it mostly worked outdoor. Those shots that I took indoor, right? Yeah, it didn't turn out at all. So if you're using this camera, you have to take it outside. Either that, or you need to have a lot of light and really like bright daylight. As you can see, this this photo, this flower is. Yeah, the sides are, are blurred out, but right in the center of the the frame is actually quite quite focused in, and I mean taken into consideration, this lens is a plastic lens, so uh, it's quite cool. So this brings us to the last shot, and I think this is the best shot that I took with this camera. I'm not too sure, but I mean, I, I like I like this shot. Because everything was focused uh, as in when I wanted it to focus. And the funny thing about this camera is that you have to twist the lens. Uh, and by twisting the lens to put it into focus, you can actually see the focus happening in the viewfinder itself. But because I'm so close, I have to actually compensate. Because the front, the top lens is not you're not taking the photo with the top lens but rather the, the bottom lens so you have to compensate a little bit for that which is about I think 2 to 3 cm so this brings us to uh, I don't know I was just playing around I was just scanning all the negatives to find out what I would get but this is what you get and let's try something funny Yeah, but I, I guess other than that, um, that's about it for this camera. I really enjoy it. Uh, I really want to thank my best friend uh, Amiru in uh, giving this, giving me this camera for my twenty first birthday. So, thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed the video that I put together. So, see ya.